another variation for you on the blanket stitch um, videos so check out all of the others lots of different ways you can use this stitch and a um, better explanation of the stitch in detail but I'm going to show you a long and short version of it now this is what it looks like so there's your blanket stitch so your L shapes there this one's upside down um, and I've just altered the length that the um, stem of this stitch goes and we've done it long and long and short so hence long and short blanket stitch so I'll show you how to work that so I'm going to start over this way and work from left to right um, if you've seen the previous videos on back to back and face to face blanket stitch you can either turn the frame around and work always work your blanket stitch left to right or as I did in that video you can work it upside down if you've got a better understanding of how the stitch goes together which saves you turning your frame around all the time but I'll leave that up to you you can see what you like so I'm going to make these the same length so this one I've got one two three four holes one two three so I'm just going to mirror this one. You don't have to mirror it, you can just work a row on its own if you like, but as I'm copying this one I thought it might be nice just to show you what it looks like mirrored. So there's start on the bottom left of your stitch if you're working from left to right, down at the top, up inside the loop, pull that straight. And then they get longer each time, hence the long and the short. But the stitch stays exactly the same. All of these variations of this blanket stitch and buttonhole. Oh, a bit windy today. I worked in exactly the same way, but just variations on how you put the stitch together and how long you make the threads. So worked in the same way, but I'm just making these long and short and then back to long again. So that's the shortest it's going to go. So then it's going to get longer again. So nothing different happening at the bottom, still coming up inside that loop, still pulling that thread towards me to tension it. But just getting longer with the arms of the stitch. And then just to finish your stitch off, just a reminder, make sure you catch that loop down. So I've come up on the inside, I'm just going to go down on the outside so that loop catches that stitch and then I'll just show you how to start another thread off haven't done that yet so you need to just come off come up where you left off so Imagine you're starting another row as normal, so up in the bottom left corner, but you're joining it to this previous row, so just come up inside that corner there. Just move that needle so you can see that. Up inside, and then you can continue with your long and your short. You want to be a bit random, you can be a bit random. You don't have to follow that one above, you can do a little short one. Got some nice diamonds here, but just go a little bit different. So you can count them or you can be random with them. You can put them closer together, put them further apart. Let's put a bit of a gap in that one. Lots of things you can do with this stitch. Don't forget to finish that off. There we go. So we have long and short blanket stitch.